architecture is more than just glass, steel, and concrete. It is about solving problems and understanding the context of a puzzle beyond the defined borders of a site. It is the practice of delivering solutions that fit within the larger whole, while creating greater meaning than the sum of the individual parts. Architecture is the living story of how society's values are reflected and affected by the built environment. It is the practice of giving birth to form and function from concept and purpose. Giving shape to light and shadow, molding the earth and casting permanence into existence in order to give purpose and meaning to space. Architecture is the story of civilization's past, present and future. Inspiring innovation, growing community and improving the quality of life. Art of Architecture Hi everyone! What is architecture? Architecture is the art of designing buildings and other structures which will serve a definite function. Structures would range from the simplest shelter to high-rise structures that meet the demands of modern cities and its growing population. Construction Principles of Architecture Post and Lintel the post and lintel system is the simplest illustration of load and support in construction, and is said to be the oldest construction system involving the use of vertical, post, and horizontal, lintel, elements. All structural openings have evolved from this system, which is seen in pure form only in colonnades which is a series of columns set at regular intervals and usually supporting the base of a roof structure, and in frame structures, because the posts of doors, windows, ceilings, and roofs normally form part of the wall. This structure was invented by the Greeks. Arch. This is a Roman invention that is a two-dimensional curved beam construction for supporting loads between two points of support over an opening. It consists of separate pieces of wedge-shaped blocks called voussoirs that are locked together and arrange in a semicircle form. The most important part of the arch is the keystone, which is the stone at the top center that locks the pieces together into a single curved structure. From the principle of the arch, there are following structures that can be built. First is the barrel vault. A barrel vault is a continuous arched shape that may approximate a semi-cylinder in form, resembling the roof of a tunnel, or may be pointed at its apex. It is typically formed by a series of arches or vaults placed side by side, or by a continuous shell. The barrel vault is the most elemental and ancient of the vaulting types, documented from as far back as 4000 BC. It was used by the Mesopotamians, Egyptians, Nubians, and Romans. However, apparently it was not a popular or common construction method. Groin Vault A groin vault, also known as double barrel vault or cross vault, is formed by intersection of two barrel vaults at right angles. The groin is the edge between the intersecting vaults. This is a more efficient structure that only has to be restrained at its corners. A series of groin vaults can be built next to one another to create a similar effect to a simple barrel vault. For the first time the groin vault was used by King of Pergamon Attalos I between 241 and 197 BC. Later it was widely used in the architecture of the ancient Romans. It was also very common in church architecture in the early Middle Ages. Dome a dome is a curved formation or structure with the shape of an inverted cup. Imagine cutting an orange in half, and placing it cut side down on a table. This is the shape of a dome, although most domes in nature are not perfectly rounded. It is formed by a series of arched rising from consecutive points on a base called the drum. Domes first appeared as solid mounds and in techniques adaptable only to the smallest buildings, such as round huts and tombs in the ancient Middle East, India, and the Mediterranean. Another construction principle of architecture is truss. 
A truss is a structure that consists of members organized into connected triangles so that the overall assembly behaves as a single object. A truss is made up of a web of triangles joined together to enable the even distribution of weight and the handling of changing tension and compression without bending or shearing. The triangle is geometrically stable when compared to a four or more sided shape which requires that the corner joints are fixed to prevent shearing. Trusses are most commonly used in bridges, roofs, and towers. Another one is cantilever. A cantilever is a beam supported only at one end, with load carried over the overhanging. This is in contrast to a simply supported beam, which is supported at both ends. Cantilevers provide a clear space underneath the beam without any supporting columns or bracing. Cantilevers became a popular structural form with the introduction of steel and reinforced concrete. They are used extensively in building construction, notably in bridges, balconies, machinery and plant, stadium roofs, and furniture. Last principle is the buttress. A buttress is an architectural structure built against or projecting from a wall which serves to support or reinforce the wall. Buttresses are fairly common on more ancient buildings, as a means of providing support to act against the lateral, sideways, forces arising out of the roof structures that lack adequate bracing. In most European churches, buttress built to support the dome are flying buttresses. Media for Architecture Since architecture is considered as the most functional of the arts, materials to be used in construction must have compressive and tensile strength. The following are materials that are used for creating buildings and infrastructures. Stones and bricks. Stones are favored over other materials for its durability, adaptability to sculptural treatment, and its use for building simple structures in its natural state. Bricks may be used in construction only in conjunction with mortar, since the unit is too small, too light, and too irregular to be stabilized by weight. Lumber or wood. Lumber, collective term for harvested wood, whether cut into logs, heavy timbers, or members used in light frame construction. All parts of a building can be constructed using wood except the foundations. Its major disadvantages are susceptibility to fire, mold, and termites. The strength of wood in both tension and compression arises from its organic nature. Other materials. Iron and steel. The development of construction methods using iron and steel was the most important innovation in architecture since ancient times. These methods provide far stronger and taller structures with less use of material when compared to stone and wood. The primary difference between iron and steel is that the former is a metal, whereas the latter is an alloy. Iron is simply a metal element that occurs naturally on earth. In comparison, steel is a man-made alloy that's made by mixing iron and carbon together. Concrete in its simplest form, concrete is a mixture of paste and aggregates, or rocks. The paste, composed of Portland cement and water, coats the surface of the fine, small, and coarse, larger, aggregates. Through a chemical reaction called hydration, the paste hardens and gains strength to form the rock-like mass known as concrete. Within this process lies the key to a remarkable trait of concrete. It's plastic and malleable when newly mixed, strong and durable when hardened. These qualities explain why one material, concrete, can build skyscrapers, bridges, sidewalks and superhighways, houses and dams. Summary of this lesson recap number one architecture is the art of designing buildings and other structures which will serve a definite function. Recap number two construction principles of architecture include post and lintel, arch, barrel vault, groin vault, dome, truss, cantilever, and buttress. Recap number three since architecture considered as the most functional of the arts, materials to be used in construction must have compressive and tensile strength. Recap number four materials that are used for constructing buildings and infrastructures include stones and bricks, lumber, iron and steel, and concrete. Architecture is a visual art, and the buildings speak from themselves. Thank you.